have two weeks of news to go over. <laughs> I'm going to skip things. Okay. I'm going to skip a few things. Um, the less important stuff. Uh-huh. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Pokebeach.com podcast. I am John. I go by Water Pokemon Master on the website. And I am joined, as always, by the wonderful... Justin Basil of JustinBasil.com. So uh, we had to skip last week because I was in the middle of moving the server, the website to a new server, and I didn't get any sleep and it was absolute chaos and nothing is ever as simple as it seems. You know, something's always going to go wrong, which it did. So that's why we didn't record last week. But we were both here just unable to record because I was in the middle of that. So know that we are still loyal and faithful to you and <laughs> we'll always still be here. To <laughs> You're going to get an extra, an extra big episode today, it looks like, probably based on all the news. So Yeah, I'm we'll gonna, I'm going to skip some of the smaller stories from last week because just uh, whatever. Um, so why don't we, <laughs> should we just jump right into it? Yeah, let's let's jump right into it. There's lots to cover. So I am going to start with the special English Scarlet and Violet set coming out in August. So uh, it's going to come out on August 2nd between Twilight Masquerade and whatever our SV7 set is in September. And we have a list of preliminary products that are going to release. The first is, as always, an Elite Trainer box with nine booster packs, a promo card, the usual accessories, a brand new Illustration Rare collection with three promo cards, four booster packs, and a code card. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Um, two EX special collections with five packs, three promos, and a code card, three pack blisters with a promo card, and the usual slew of mini tins. So these are going to be the first wave of products to release for this set. Um, more will come later throughout the fall. And like all special sets, these packs will not be sold individually. You can only get them through special products. So those are all the facts. Now let's get into the speculation. So there are two theories currently for what these what this set could be, what this special English set could be. Because right now, there are not a lot of Japanese cards that haven't released. So there really isn't anything to create a full set, unless for some reason they just cut out a bunch of cards in upcoming sets. So there's two theories for what this set could be, and I'm 50-50 on both of them. So the first is that this could be a dragon set, the second is that this could be a Terrapagos slash Terrastal, or what am I saying? Uh, what's the uh, what's the special type again? Did I say it? A Stellar, sorry, Stellar. Stellar? Yeah, Stellar type set. So it's either going to be, right now our theory is that it could either be a Dragon set or a Terrapagos slash um, Stellar set. So... Um, in terms of it being a dragon set, so as we talked about on a previous episode, there is going to be an upcoming Paradise Dragona set, whose name we only know about through trademarks. And that's literally all we know about that set. There is nothing else we know about it. So um, if the set happens to release in Japan this August, which is a little bit iffy um, in terms of the release schedule, it would be the likely candidate for this English set. Right now, it's the Year of the Dragon. Um, we've had dragon special dragon sets before, including Dragon Vault in 2012 and Dragon Majesty in 2018. So there, we could be getting a third special dragon set, which, you know, they've been uh, with the special sets lately. We had Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, and Paldean Fates. So maybe we'll have a Dragon Vault, Dragon Majesty, and then Dragon whatever set. So um, dragon types have always been treated very special in the card game. We've had them in um, regular sets as well, as you can see here. EX Dragon, EX Dragon Fun Triers, Dragons Exalted, Roaring Skies, Evolving Skies. Um, so that's one of the theories. Now, the second theory is that uh, it could feature... Um, could feature cards from Stellar Miracle, which is releasing in Japan on July 19th. Uh, that matches up with the timing of an August English set. Um, I'm a little, just slightly less inclined to that because um, the set is supposed to introduce the Stellar type. So I don't know if they would be putting that into a special set for because um, 
all of the main sets usually have introduced a new mechanic or introduced new Pokemon. So that feels like that would be more likely for a main set. But they could surprise us. So I don't know. They did do they did do shining the reintroduction of shining Pokemon in Shining Legends. Right. Right. Right, but this is more of whatever Stellar is going to be is going to be a new mechanic for the entire card game, like a like actual game mechanic. So that's where the difference is a little bit. But I don't know. I've kind of... I wonder if it really will be, because that would be something they would probably have revealed or probably will save for Worlds. I, I wonder if they're just going to kind of that's another have a release, thing. That's a release a- that's very muted comparatively. That's another thing that's throwing me off, too, because when we found out the dates for Stellar Miracle being July 19th, I was like, well, that's weird. What are they going to announce at Worlds then? Because, I mean, if this is going to introduce the Stellar type, Stellar Terra type, wouldn't that be what they announce at Worlds? So and then this maybe this set is going to be a soft introduction to whatever the upcoming mechanic is going to be. Maybe it's just going to feature, I don't know, normal Tropagos. And just have, uh, I don't know, the mechanic lightly introduced before they go into full swing. I don't know. But those are currently the two theories. The only thing we can think of, because it's like, well, there's nothing else on the horizon that could comprise um, an English special set. There simply aren't enough unreleased Japanese cards. So, um, oh, and then... I mean, we we could absolutely have a special... A mini set, but it would be more like um, Champion's Path, not not like these these highly sought after sets. Champion's Path was basically a bunch of junk thrown together with a single chase card in it. And based on what we do have, because we actually have quite a few cards that aren't released. No, we only have majority of them are coming. We we only have the uh, the majority of them are coming from Battle Academy. Right. Well, we've got thirty seven from Battle Academy. Um, we've got uh, the Venusaur Charizard Blast Toys EX Alternate mm-hmm. Arts, the Bulbasaur and Squirtle Illustration Rares that didn't release here yet. We've got a couple of gym promos, and we just had... We've seen several more. Yeah. There's this, also the chance that they have the, the Sylveon and... Um, yeah. It? You, you just saw that in pictures there. But all of that together, if there's a, if there's a Sylveon on this set that's especially nice looking, that the, if they pull a Champion's Path, I could absolutely see... Sylveon being the big chase for the set. Mm. Now, will they pull that off? I don't know, because maybe they've realized that special sets do better if they're actually something functional special. to them. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, Sylveon would still be special, but it's only one card. Or maybe two or three, depending on the rarity distribution. But the, the point the point is, like, they could still make it a mini set, even if it's not a really special set. Yeah. They just, do, they just basically do a champion's path. Because we have a ton of crap that needs to come out, but they don't want to cram it into a main set. Mm-hmm. So releasing it into a mini set like that might not be the worst thing in the world because people can decide if they want to chase after Sylveon or whatever chase card they include or not. So you're absolutely right. That is definitely a valid theory. The only thing that I can think of against it is that it feels like they've been doing a lot better in recent years and that they've been learning what fans like and don't like. So I feel like they can do better than that because Champions, I mean, Champions Path, Path was, wasn't that long ago, though. But it was bad no it was, it was kind of no it was wasn't it like three years ago two years ago yeah three years ago that's not that long ago that's still sword and shield well i don't know you might be right i don't know well we'll see we literally don't know we have we only have theories at this point the only fact uh, we have we have a bunch of exs that could go in there that haven't been released like i genuinely think there's plenty of stuff that could go into a set like this would it be a good set <laughs> no but they could they could throw a bunch of reprints of trainer cards in there that would be useful they've mm-hmm. done that in the past they did that recently with paldean fates like yeah, they can and they make are, it and worth they are, something yeah and they are also going to probably have an um, annual set at the end of the year which they could also draw from mhm so maybe, I mean, I yeah. guess that's a third It'd be theory. weird for them to pull it all forward now, though, because that's a huge jump. We'd be getting stuff way before Japan if that were the case. But if they're only alternate arts, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, but that's not a, that's not a draw for the collectors, really, right? Like, they want them, but the ones they, well, the cards it, they really want are, like, would it, illustration rares and stuff. Would a Champion's Path set, again, be a draw for collectors? That's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, it feels like that would be... 
uh, that's just a s- step backwards with how well they've been doing. Well, Champions lately. Path. Champions Path had Charizard, so I mean, and it sold like crazy when it first came out because Charizard. Mm. So if maybe if they think they could bet it on Sylveon, I, I doubt. I don't know, but they, oh, they, Sarah, maybe Sarah they're Ledge maybe too. they're secretly in their labs working on a whole new set of Charizards <laughs> just for six point five. I'm sure you, they you are. How, there's how always is. A Charizard in production. They love Charizard. There's so, always. I've, there's actually, there's that new art of Charizard too that dropped recently. Yeah, yeah. That's, we're going to get to that. Yeah, the so, Chan Pal, the Chan Pal and the Charizard. So yep. maybe, okay, so maybe we could say there's three theories. The point is we don't know right now. We can only speculate. So Dragon Set, Tropagos, maybe a um, Champions Path-esque set. Who knows? The only facts we do know are that it's releasing in English on August 2nd, uh, and it'll have these products, and that's it. We'll find out more information probably next month, so look forward to that. All right. Mm -hmm. So what should our next story be from last week? Uh, I'm not going to do these. Who cares? Let's. How about... um, Okay. There are going to be a new line of Ultra Pro products featuring Arma Rouge mm-hmm. and Cerulege. Um, you can see the artwork here. It's the usual uh, slate of products, you know, play mats, binders. But there's also going to be these giant play mats releasing, as you can see right here. They're going to have a typical sized rubber play mat, a six foot long play mat, and an eight foot long play mat. Play mat. So I need to convince I need to convince my local game store to get a couple of them. They have I think it's the Maridon and Coridon ones from yep. the early Scarlet and Violet. Mm-hmm. Yep. They have those on their a couple of their tables. It'd be cool to see a few of these. Um I think they did really well on the artwork this time. Or the design, I mean. Yeah. It turns out they can actually try and they could produce something even with stock artwork that isn't awful. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So these uh don't have a specific release date or prices yet, but they should come out in September. All right, next news story is uh, da, 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 downtime. Uh, do we want to we do the down. do we want to do the debit card? Sure, let's talk about the debit card. Go okay, Henry. So <laughs> I had I didn't know anything about this company when I wrote this story, so I had to do some research, but. Um, Pokemon has partnered with a company called GoHenry to release limited edition Visa debit cards featuring Temporal Forces booster pack artwork, as you can see right here. Um, GoHenry is a technology company that teaches kids and teenagers how to budget and use money and learn money skills. So um, all of their debit cards come paired with an app, which allows parents and teens to monitor their allowances and how they're spending their money. And if you order this debit card, you'll also get a fun pack. The first 40,000 customers will get it. And the debit cards are being offered in both the U.S. and United Kingdom. And as you can see here, the designs vary slightly between the two countries. So this is cool, but I don't want... Yeah, I mean, I wish I could just get a card like this without yeah, having to be tied to it. That's what I was. That's what I was about to say. Like, I I want it, but I don't want to deal with this company and app thing. It would be nice if they like partnered with like Bank of America or Visa or whoever and just released these at any time because I would definitely use it and show it off. Yeah. Go, go to Vons and swipe my Pikachu debit card, credit card. All right. No, you yeah. don't want your walking away debit card to be the one swiped. Yeah. No, I'm saying I want I want different artworks. Of I want like a Pikachu one. All right. Now we had the um, Master Battle decks revealed. We first talked about these in January. They feature alternate art prints of Terra Charizard EX and Chien Pao EX. So as he as Justin Basil just mentioned, these could also be potential cards for our special set. Um, so in Japan, these decks are releasing on May 17th for 3,000 yen each. They feature all reprints except for those two cards with alternate artwork. Um, here's the accessories they come with. It's a really cool Charizard playmat, Chin Pao playmat, and sleeves. And, um, and yeah, and I said they could potentially appear in our August set, so we'll see. That Charizard art is 
I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I mean, I don't like any of the Terra cards. Like well, I mean, the, I'm trying to ignore the hat, but like, I don't know. The face looks weird with it face down like that. <laughs> it's different, I guess. Yeah, you know, I didn't even really... It does make me wish they'd stolen this for um, Paldean Fates, because Paldean Fates was a one-for-one reprint of Obsidian Flames of Starzard. They could have just stolen this and at least had it different, right? They probably didn't have it yet. Probably uh, have it. I doubt it. Oh, I mean, with, with the turnaround time that they usually have, it probably wasn't ready yet for English. All right, next story is that... No, actually, I'll get to that when I get to the... Uh, when I get to the Mask of Change. Um, okay. Uh, the Pokemon Center has restocked most of their Van Gogh accessories and merchandise. Is it still available or did it sell out again? Uh, <laughs> I was just about to look. Um, oh, God. Oh, thank you for being kind. I don't have to do the capture 50 times. So it looks like they only have Someone the card sleeves, them. deck boxes, and play mats still in stock. And all of the notebooks. Not even all the sleeves. A lot of those are sold out, too. Yeah. All I wanted <laughs> was the Sunflora print and yeah. could not get it. And it was sad. Um, I probably will pick up the Sunflora sleeves, but um, I'm waiting for something else to appear on the website so I can get free shipping. So, um, and this uh, launch is not being paired with the Pikachu with gray felt hat promo, so you can't get it, but you can get the accessories. So most of this stuff uh, was gone within like a half hour when it, um, or the higher uh, sought after items were gone after a half hour, like the um, canvas things. So we are still dealing with bots and it sucks. And I wanted that Sunflora print really bad, but oh well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, hopefully that's the end of Van Gogh because I am so sick of it. All right. Next story is, oh, back to school products. Okay. So we are getting a new slew of back to school products as we do every year. These will release on July 5th. The first one releasing is an eraser blister featuring Gengar or Bella Bolt for $9.99 and two booster packs. Um, I've always thought these are kind of funny because they're, don't they, I've never bought these before, but don't the erasers like disintegrate as you're using them? Or are they like a different kind? I have the, was it the the small of ones? But uh -huh. I haven't actually used the eraser. Uh, I'm wondering if they disintegrate. No. <laughs> like, are you decapitating them <laughs> as you're using them? You're slow. You're slowly tearing Gengar's legs off. Yeah. That, like, is that what it is? Or is it like, I mean, I haven't used erasers since, I don't know, maybe high school. But um, maybe they have new kinds now that maybe they don't disintegrate. They just like rub it off. Maybe no. I think they. I think they all work the same way. They still disintegrate. All right. Um, second back to school product is a pencil case. Comes with two, two booster packs for ten ninety nine. The front will feature Charizard, of course. And the back will feature Coridon and Maridon. Yes, the back. The back will feature Coridon and Maridon, yeah. and the front will feature Charizard. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares about anybody else? Um, and then we will be getting a back to schools collector chest for twenty nine nine twenty nine ninety nine. It'll come with two foil cards of Screamtail and Iron Valiant, six packs, two coins, four sticker sheets, a mini portfolio, and a code card. As you can see right here. So yeah. I but might will it cosmos. Pick up, you know, I've never seen these actually in stores, um, even in when um even before the pandemic but i would like to get that gengar it's probably, I've only, yeah i've only ever seen him on pokemon center so yeah i don't know i'll probably pick up the gengar actually i like gengar i mean who doesn't gengar is a fairly popular pokemon one of my other professors at the league i'm at is his favorite pokemon is gengar so that's not surprising uh, all right, and now we have Mask of Change. All main set cards were revealed from the set. Mm -hmm. So let's... Oh, and then we had um, four secret rares revealed as well. Watrol, which is one of your favorites. 
Right. Yes. I can. I just say that I absolutely adore this art. Mm-hmm. Like I am so happy that it got such a beautiful art. And obviously it's Arita. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just like really, really good. I I'm love that so it's, happy about this art. I love that it's diving. It's not just like in the sky or something. Yeah. It's, it's just so fire. I love it. And it's not just the one too. It's like a whole, it's like a whole flock of them, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They're, they're hunting for awesome. fishies, I guess, to eat. For fish. For magic yeah. carp. It's so cool. <laughs> then we got a Chimaco, which is illustrated by Rand. And it's pretty. This is, um, uh, what did Rand do again? I just, I was just the thinking about Arcanine, this. The Arcanine, I believe yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, From the card contest. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, but they did an illustration rare recently. Who was it again? It was um, Forgetting. Yeah, look it up for me. But uh, yeah, here's Chimeco in front of some wind chimes because this set is celebrating Kitakami, which is a Japanese-themed region. So Ren did both the Cutie Fly and the Pommy. Oh, recently. Cutie Fly. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, Cutie Fly, the so water the, fountain. So the Pommy from Paldean Fates and the mm-hmm. Cutie Fly from Temple Forces. Yep, yep, yep. And then we have Kieran looking... Uh, is it just me or does he look perpetually stoned? Oh, this is a children's podcast. It's not though. Um, I don't know. Like he, I've never, I've I don't never, know. Maybe it's just the way his bangs are, but like funny story. I've never had any, I've never had a drop of alcohol in my life. No drugs, no smoking, no nothing. So yeah, I went, neither have I. I went, oh yeah. We're so exciting, John. I know, I know. We're, we're especially sleepy this morning. <laughs> so our energy, we, we will never be um, those super big YouTubers. Like, I can't act and I can't pretend to be excited. <laughs> So we're we're doomed to always be a podcast. It's like the the YouTubers sometimes I'll watch them in the car and it's like my my sugar levels spike. Like I feel like I'm getting diabetes watching them because they're so, sometimes they're so No, no, it's I don't mean they to, they have way more energy yeah, than yeah. I think is um possible for somebody that isn't on something special. I, I don't know. It's um no, I think they, it's just part of like marketing themselves to be, you know, a, a, attractive uh, presenters to children and stuff. They have to be like exciting and, oh, I pulled Charizard, you know, but I can't, I can't act and I can't pretend to be excited or <laughs> can't pretend to be awake when I'm sleepy. Um, <laughs> all right. And then we got Carmine, which is, she's got the best art. Oh, who's that in the back? Oh, that's a leaf. I thought that was a Pokemon. I love like, who's that? Oh, it's a leaf. It's a That's leaf. like the biggest downturn ever. <laughs> oh, it's a leaf. I thought it was like some Pokemon in the background. I was like, oh, I didn't see that before. <laughs> it's a leaf. Um, yeah, so that's Carmine. Carmine definitely has that like badass kind of attitude going in her picture. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. And we will be getting these cards, presumably in Twilight Masquerade uh, in March, mm-hmm. along with the cards from, oh, I'm sorry, in uh, May, along with the cards from Crimson Haze, which released in March. All right. So what cards do we want to talk about? We missed two weeks what of cards. haven't we cards. already talked about? <laughs> well, we missed two weeks of cards. So what was, so we've got I'm the sure. new, we've got the new, um, what is it? Treasure box? What's it called? What's that? A-spec? Yes. The new A-spec. What's, what's its name again? Secret Box. Secret Box. So with Secret Box, you're discarding three cards from your hand in order to use the card. So just like Ultra Ball Box, if you're having to discard a third one. And then you're going to search your deck for an item, a Pokemon tool, a supporter card, and a stadium card. You're going to reveal them and put them in your hand and then shuffle your deck. So this is... <laughs> this is, in to a degree at least, a supercharged computer search because you're getting four cards out of your deck, so you're losing four cards to play this, getting four cards as you play this. It's pretty strong. Obviously, unlike Computer Search, you're not able to find every kind of card, but that's four different types of cards that are all pretty strong. So, like, that's basically, uh, you know, any kind of trainer card you could want, and you're getting four of them, so. Is this going to be more played than than, uh, Prime Catcher, you think, or? 
I don't think so. I think it's going to be it's going to eat in the prime catcher's share for sure because it is a good card. Um, but like prime catcher's still really broken. <laughs> Um, okay, what other cards do we want to talk about? Handy Fan, Bug... Uh, no, we saw that one already. Handy Fan, um, the Whistle one. Do you want to talk about any of those? Um, the Whistle one? What do you mean? They the, flute, about the table flute? Flute, whatever. Whatever it's called. Um, did we not... We haven't talked about this one already? No. I feel like we've talked about Fable Flute. So we look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck, put any number of basic Pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench. Your opponent shuffles the remaining cards back into their deck. So it's um it's fine. <laughs> it's a it's very much a controlly card though. It's it's one of those things where it's like it's a worse version of like Erica's perfume or like captivating Pokepuff, but it's coming off the top of their deck, so they can't try to protect themselves that way. I don't know. It's it's fine, and if a deck has room for like four of them, it could be a real menace. But we'll see how much play it actually ends up seeing. Okay, we got a new Luxray EX. I'm not in love with this Luxray. I think it's okay. Don't get me wrong. I think it's okay. I think in a format with Electro Power, it'd be pretty good. Um, I know a lot of people are very excited about Piercing Glint. They did that 120 damage. You look at your opponent's hand and then discard a card. Like, discarding a card in their hand is really good. Don't get me wrong. But the damage output is kind of eh. Mm -hmm. And it is a stage two to get there so you'd be doing with double turbo you'd be doing 100 damage and discarding a card from your hand so you'd need to really focus on trashing your opponent's hand in other ways so like airy perhaps i don't know and then you have volt strike which is doing 250 damage which is not too bad uh you have stuff like defiance magnitude to 280 but you are going to struggle with the the higher hp like ex's especially the stage 2 ex's I'm trying to look real quick. What else was revealed that's notable? Um, do you see anything? To be honest, the reveals on Thursday were fairly tame. Well, right, but we haven't record. We didn't recover the cards for the last two weeks. So, what was revealed in the last two weeks that's interesting? Uh, do 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 do. Let me look at our much. article list. I guess not all that much. It's really it's really not, and it's kind of surprising. Like, Scoop Up Cyclone got reprinted, and I think that's probably worth talking about. Let's hit Scoop Up Cyclone. Oh, first, wait, actually, look at this Heat Ran artwork. Yeah, Kirigawa, really good art. Mm -hmm. Scoop Up Cyclone. So Scoop Up Cyclone is a reprint. This is a second A spec to get a reprint. Scoop Up Cyclone says, put one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand. This is, for those of you who are less familiar with some cards, this is basically Penny, but for every kind of Pokemon, not just basics. I think it's pretty good. It'll see play. Um, but like a lot of the other A specs, it's going to be certain decks want it, and most decks don't. <laughs> How do they come up with these devices that they make in these carts? Look, it's got to be <laughs> Team Rocket's handiwork. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> it's like it's just so random. It's just like, what am I looking at? It's like a wheel with test tubes. Right. Um, uh, we also had the um, Frost Lass. That's probably worth talking about. Oh, we'll talk about Frost Lass. Yes. Oops. So we look at the illustration rare. We'll also look at the regular card. So. Uh, Frost Last here has the ability Freezing Curtain during Pokemon Checkup. Put a damage counter on each Pokemon in play with an ability. Both yours and your opponents accept any Frost Last. I think this is a very interesting effect to have in the format right now, and I'm kind of excited to see it. This is a stage one, so we'll see how useful it ends up being. But I do I do really like the idea of this card. and Because I've been wanting something like Shrine of Punishment for a while now. And so seeing something similar to that in this respect is, is fun. That's and, a beautiful card. Uh, look at this creepy card. It is. I think it's really creepy because um, in the games, she's known for like, uh, I don't know, killing men, I think, like st stealing their souls or something, luring them. So it's like, oh, this is so freaky. Uh, and I love how realistic it is. I think that makes it even freakier. Like if you ran into this it's creature really in well the done. world. Yeah. It's like. She just committed murder, and she's leaving the body <laughs> behind. Oh, no, no, no. She's coming inside, actually. Oh, I thought she was coming. Oh, she's coming inside. Oh, for some reason, I thought she was coming um, 
She's creeping out. Yeah, she's creeping cu- yeah in. creeping Either out. Way. I thought she was creeping out. She's creeping in. She's about to kill somebody. <laughs> that's really creepy. Oh, that's even creepier. Um, to have that kind of monster walk into your house because she's based off like a ghost, ghost type Pokemon. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, she's based off a Japanese uh, yokai or whatever. Um. We can also talk about the tower. Oh, jamming, jamming tower. tower. Yeah. Ah. This is basically a reprint of Lysander Labs, but it's kind of worth thinking about here because it could see play in the format at some point here. So basically, Pokemon tool cards attached to Pokemon in play have no effect. So there's still, there's still tool cards when they're attached, don't get me wrong, but when jamming tower is in effect, they have no effect. So they just stay. So what do you think of this? Because it's like, doesn't this, um, this negates like a whole category of cards. I mean, Lysander Labs did too, but did so did Lost do? Vacuum. I'm not a player. Well, Lysander Labs it? saw play, but it wasn't in every deck. It just saw play occasionally. Mm. I think it's going to be the same situation with Jamming Tower. You're going to be throwing something against your opponent and they're going to go, oh crap, and have to respond to it. You know, like back in the day, it was like, oh, well, my choice band's not working anymore because Jamming Tower is active. Now I'm not able to one shot you and I'm kind of screwed. There might be a similar situation now where your choice belt or your defiance band or even your vitality band might not be giving you the damage output you need. And Jamming Tower is the reason. I like the artwork. I wish they had just reprinted Lysander Labs. It's like a it's like a a 5G tower. (laughs) The conspiracy conspiracy theorists will love this card. Um, I need some. I need some aluminum foil. <laughs> uh, all right, let's look at the illustration let's rares. Let's look at brute bonnet. Oh, just kidding. Also, I lied. Yeah, let's look at brute bonnet. <laughs> so brute bonnet has the attack poison spray, which poisons your opponent's active Pokemon, and then for three darkness energy, this is the real uh, juicy stuff here. It has rattling strike, which does fifty plus damage. This attack does 50 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is a 120 HP basic ancient Pokemon. So you don't have a ton of HP, but you can be doing quite a lot of damage. Rattling Strike's pretty easy to power up. Because you're an ancient Pokemon, you have access to Sada's Vitality. You also have access to Dark Patch. You've got ways to get those three energy on there fairly quickly. And that damage output is pretty good if you've got Frost Last and it's been chipping away at your opponent's Pokemon. So I think I think it's an interesting idea, and there's probably other ways also to get some damage counters in play, like uh, Iron Valiant, for example. So there's there's 100 percent ways to to make this very interesting. So is the idea that is the idea like you'll only really get one hit in before you die. The root on it. Yeah. Most likely, yeah. You'll you'll probably pass out pretty quick in terms of. HP because you have 120 HP. You're not yeah. going to be surviving most and things. It, so you're going to be able to probably knock something out pretty easily if it has. And yeah, then, you'll then just you're you'll, you know one shot a Charizard or something, and mm. then come back with something else. I, see. I, I don't think Brubon will necessarily be a deck on its own, but it could be paired with something else. I'm actually excited because for LA regionals, um, I need to borrow a deck from somebody. I really want to play again. Ugh, it's like these kind of when you're talking about these cards, I just ah, I want to play so bad. I need to I grab need to Charizard. Put, play it. It's pretty. It's pretty straightforward for yeah. somebody who's not super seasoned or is rusty. And I think it's a good, a good deck to start with. Uh, are there any other big cards that were revealed? Um, in the last so I'm trying weeks? to figure out. I'm trying to find the cards that were revealed. Was Dragapult? I think Dragapult. Dragapult, I believe, is a little further back because we've. Oh. I'm pretty sure we've talked about Dragapult at this point. Eh. Uh, yeah. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, we talked about Dragapult. I think that's it for the reveals. Like, there for the most part, it seems like the 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 general reveals at this point have more or less already been shown. Mm-hmm. And at this point, we more or less just have the illustration rares to excite us. Yeah, but we yeah. Uh, we had the reveal in the last two weeks of the Tatsugiri, as you can see right here. Mm-hmm. Um, the Chansey. This this was showing while the website was down. I thought it was pretty funny. There, it was like for, the website was broken when it was when we were moving servers, and it just showed this chancy here <laughs> running with dropping its boxes. Um, we mm-hmm. had, uh, I think that was it for the. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, it's like I said, we have we have the uh, next week here to look forward to all of the remaining secret rares from Mask mm-hmm. of Change. So we know what the rest of our Twilight Mask rates that will look like. Yep, and the um, English card game actually has been revealing the cards uh, the morning after Japan for a couple of them. So we got Bliss EX and the Tatsugiri Illustration Rare revealed literally the morning after Japan revealed them. Um, so I thought that I was would just like to say, I, I had translated Tatsugiri's ability as a oh, I saw, customers. I saw, that's what it is. I saw. And some people were so salty mm-hmm. that that was the official translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what did you expect it to be? I thought that <laughs> like, was, I thought that was, um, I was, I was impressed that that, the, because they change things all the time. And even if you translate it accurately, you know, they'll still change it or, um, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's just like a, a like a different way of saying the yeah, same thing. Yeah, right, exactly. Other Variations, times they change yeah. it completely. Other times I take creative liberties to try to make something work, yeah, be more interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it was just funny because I remember yeah. reading it. I'm like, attract customers, really? And then when it came out in English, it was attract customers. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm not going to announce that ability at a tournament. Yeah, you're not the only one that's been saying that. You're like, I don't want to say track customers. I'm not going to say that. Too weird. It's weird. It is weird. Like, that was on, the man. first thing I thought when I read it. I was like, if I was playing this at a tournament, I'm not going to say that. Oh, and then I love this Blissey. It's like ability is happy switch. And then it's not a very... There's a double <laughs> meaning in that. What? <laughs> happy... What? We won't go there. What? Happy. There's a double meaning in it, but we'll leave it alone. I don't get it. If you understand what I mean by the double meaning and happy switch, leave leave the word blissy in the comments down below. Okay. But uh, I thought it it was funny because it's happy switch, but she looks angry. (laughs) Anyway. All right. So hopefully we'll get more English reveals shortly after Japan reveals them. Um, all right, and then we also yeah, got... Yeah, I mean, I like that they're doing that because it helps us kind of figure out the set a little bit faster, too. Because mm-hmm. we can... Although they've not been cutting as aggressively as they used to. Mm-hmm. They used to cut so aggressively to get other sets together, and they haven't been doing that very much in Scarlet and Violet, which is nice. And then we also got the next set of gym promos revealed. There's only four new ones. Um, Kilowattro EX, your favorite. Well, my favorite is Watchroll, but I, lo- I like Killer Watchroll. I thought enough. I said that. I said that like three weeks ago. I said, um, don't you like Watchroll? And then I thought you said Killer Watchroll. Anyway. I like Watchroll. That's what I thought. That's what I originally thought. But I thought you corrected me to say Killer Watchroll. Anyway. Okay. All right. So is this anything uh, important? <sighs> so in a more casual play environment, I think it could be interesting. I don't love the damage output here. 40 plus 40 times is not that great. It's not terrible, but like... It's just average. It's not great. It's like, I mean, let's think about it. If you're trying to hit 280 damage, which is what you'd need to get a lot of the the V-stars, you need, what, six energy? I don't know. It's six, right? I can't match. Six times four is 24 plus 40 base. I can't match. So you need six early. lightning energy to take a 280 hit. To me, that feels pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah. That's It'd be one good. thing if it were like a sniping attack. But you but know what? I really like this. Not. I really like this artwork, actually, and I want this card. Mm-hmm. That's all I No, I like Watchroll, and, and the art is the art does work really well for the the Pokemon. I, I am a little saddened that Watchroll kind of got screwed over and got a junk EX, but at least it's not like one of the really trash EXs. It's just a bait EX. Mm-hmm. Oh, wasn't this crafty? When I read this, I kind of thought it could be something. So it's Snap seems kind of good. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing when I was translating it. Snap seems pretty okay. Like, it's on the stage one, and they can just, because it is an attack, they can just Iono or judge your hand away, or unfair st- stamp now, mm. too. But, like, I feel like it's still kind of good for, like, a control deck. So it does. Like, that attack's pretty, pretty something. For one colorless energy, for each of your bench Pokemon, search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Yeah. 
What is, what is this artwork? Seems all right. What is this artwork? What am I looking at? Is it a reflection? Is that what it is? No. No, it can't be a reflection. I don't know what I'm looking know. at. Is it running away from? Oh, is it like in a gang? Probably. Scrafty is very uh, yeah. kind of characterized in that way. It's kind of weird, though. It looks like it's in front of glass or something. But it's not. It does look a bit like that, yeah. Um, and then we got the roto stick. Look at the top four cards of your deck. So, you may reveal any number of supporter yeah. cards you find there and put them into your hand. Shuffle the others back into your deck. I, I don't see this seeing any play while we have Poke Gear in format. Like, Poke Gear only gets one supporter, which technically isn't as good. But Poke Gear also looks to seven, not to four. So, like, if I want a supporter, I'm going to try to dig as hard as possible. I don't need two supporters off the same item. I need the supporter I want. So I, I don't see Roto Stick being that good. All right. So that's it for the gym promos. And then, um, mm -hmm. so uh, we have two stories related to events. Um, Worlds, we finally got the dates for Worlds. It'll be at the Hawaii Convention Center from August 16th to 18th. Um, we talked about before that they were announcing it pretty late for reasons unknown. Um, I will be at Worlds by myself. So um, I am looking forward to going there and hanging out and meeting people and making friends. So come say hi if you're going there. Um, and then we also got the registration dates for NAIC. And you're going there, right? I am. Are you not too? I am. I am going there. So okay. I'm. So we're gonna both be at an AIC. Yes. At least that's the plan. Yes. So let's crack some knuckles and have some fun. I'm. I'm uh, bringing my parents. So what we're gonna do actually is, um, I'll probably go to the event maybe on like Saturday, and then my friend who is from New Orleans who lives in LA with me, she's gonna go visit her family, and then we're gonna check out the town after. So I'll probably only be there for like a day or so at the actual tournament, maybe two days, mm -hmm. and then. Um, and then I'm going to go see New Orleans with my family and my friend. But I am really looking forward to this. I want to hang out with you and play decks. And Yes, and I'm, I'm intending to bring a collection of Eternal Format decks. I want to run at least one, maybe two Eternal Format tournaments while I'm there. So if that's something that interests you and you're going to NAIC, you can pick, 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 uh, put the deck together for it. And uh, we'll have some fun. So if you want to register to be a player or a spectator, it'll open April 25th and April 26th. You can see the details here. They'll also have an on-site Pokemon Center. You need to make a reservation for it, but you don't need a badge to get in. Um, but if you do have a badge, you also still need to make a reservation. So the Pokemon Center will be open Thursday through Sunday. Uh, and then they also revealed the competitor kit that people, that they'll get when they, when they compete. <laughs> when you catch some hands. <laughs> we get a play mat, a hat, a lanyard, card sleeves, and a deck box featuring artwork from the event. And NAIC will be taking place from June 7th to 9th at the Ernest and Memorial Convention Center in New Orleans, in New Orleans, Louisiana. And Justin and Basil and I will see you there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to NAIC. NAIC is the big tournament I go to every year. So I'm super excited to, uh, to jump in on that again. Oh, I forgot for Mask of Change. Um, sorry, let me run back to that real quick. Uh, we had the <clears throat> uh, releasing alongside the set. Uh, is bleh. Releasing on May 17th is also going to be a special jumbo cart set, Ogre Pond, which will feature the uh, a brand new promo card of... Ah, ogre, teal mask ogre pawn, which is in the, it's a promo card, but it's an illustration rare, technically, um, mm -hmm. or not technically. So we're getting that as our elite trainer in our Twilight Masquerade elite trainer box, as you can see here. So that's a quick thing. And then we also had some Pokemon Center accessories revealed that are going to release alongside Mask of Change on April 26th, as you can see right here, featuring... Kieran and Carmine 
And this is an absolutely beautiful playmat showing them at a festival because it's Kitakami, Japanese style festival. I, I like that playmat a lot. It's really nice. Yeah, I actually really want to get bright. that. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Gonna get it. I just wish, and I know the Japanese payments always do, but I wish they didn't put the stupid zones on it. That's the one thing oh, I just yeah, don't the like the text about over it, yeah. from Japan. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So yeah, those are gonna release alongside Mask of Change on April 26, which is uh, this coming Friday. Uh, and I think that's it for the week or for the two weeks. Um, for the two weeks, how did we get through two weeks of news in under 50 minutes? Because I really rushed it because I rushed rushed it it, and I'm sleepy today. I am so sleepy and I just wanted to get through it and we got through it. So (laughs) yeah, I'm looking forward to the coming events. So I'm going to go to LA regionals, then NAIC, then worlds. So... My goals are to maybe get some base set PSA 9 cards for cheap. Um, I want to play in the side events and make friends mm-hmm. and have fun and hang out with you. I plan to play you. in the side events, especially at NAIC. Yeah, that's where I'll be. So if I, how is it hard to get a spectator badge for, for that? I haven't tried to get a spectator badge for NAIC, so I don't really know. I just know the competitor badges go very fast. Are we, so we're talking we about see. like minutes? We're talking about like minutes fast? Seconds. Or? Oh, seconds? Really? Like, it's usually like 15 to 30 seconds in my experience. Oh, my God. So, well, geez. the good thing is, at least the way that Arcanine has worked in the past... The they they free up after fifteen minutes if people don't pay, mm-hmm. so you, there'll be like a second wave within the wave. But they're doing something unique this time in that you have to go through Pokemon's event portal first. Oh, I saw that. This is the first time ever. Yeah. The first time ever they've used this is brand new. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how this is gonna go, and I'm sure people are gonna get real ticked off that they weren't able to get their stuff because they had to do that first. I'm just hoping it doesn't mess things up for everyone that would normally go um yeah it's interesting that they don't just if if they are going that fast i don't know why they don't just expand the tournaments to be much larger they did well then even more because if it's going within 30 seconds i mean like it it that's the thing they they've drastically increased the size of these tournaments. Orlando was three thousand people just for TCG. Mm. That's that's massive compared to what it has been in the past. Like last year was like half that. Well, maybe they need to quadruple it. Maybe they need to take over an entire convention center, like in the STS days. <laughs> well, I remember for the they might have to. When I went to the STSs back in, what, 2000 and 2001, they were, I want to say it was the whole convention center, several halls. It's probably just a couple halls. Yeah, but I was a kid, so everything felt larger back then. So I don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe it was only if, I don't know, well, it was, probably wasn't the whole convention center, but it was definitely more than one hall. But um, yeah, I am looking forward to being social this summer. And going to events and meeting people and playing and making friends and yada, yada, yada. So, and just having fun, dang it. <laughs> and having fun, dang it. Um, cool. Do we have anything else we want to say for the week? For this week? I don't think so. I think, I think we yeah. pretty much got it. Yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we, and we moved the, we moved the server and uh, eventually going to refresh the website layout and the forums and, start writing more content articles about sets and stuff. So that's the long-term plan. Mm -hmm. And yeah. All right. I've just, it's just been a very rough past week or so. So that's why I'm really still really tired. Um, All right. Well, thank you for, we're so cheery today. (laughs) Thank you for, I'm looking at your face. You're like falling asleep. Uh, (laughs) I'm fine. I, I don't know. Your face says, oh, you were like, 
<laughs> like this is my eyes. No, I've seen your face a million times. I've got, I I've got see. literally a light blaring right in my eyes. That's what it oh, is. It's, oh, okay. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for listening to the pokeybeach.com podcast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you mi- made it this all the way through, say um, Scyther. Drowsy. And s- all right. Say both. <laughs> um <laughs> And we're gonna have all the Pokemon in our just in our our comments this week. And uh, we will see you all next week. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Wait, we have to we have to end this more cherry. We have to end this more cherry. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for okay, listening so to the Pokemon. Let's 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 imitate. Oh the my YouTubers. gosh, this energy you said you don't uh, have. There it uh, is. Oh uh, man, every run I can do it. For, John's got I energy it every run. Ten, I can do it for ten seconds. Um, thank you all for listening to the pokebeach.com podcast, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, what do they yo. Say? What, what do they is say? this mess? <laughs> what is this? It was lit. It was slay. <laughs> oh, stop. Now you're just hurting me. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on a oh, dodgeball team. Goodness. So I'm, th- I'm 35 going on 36. I'm on a dodgeball team and there's some 20 year olds and the amount of times they throw the word slay into sentences. It's like, mm-hmm. stop trying to make slay happen. It's not going to happen. That's how I feel. But I guess that's what happens. It's every gen- happened. I know. I guess it did. But it, it's funny. Like every, um, Every generation is always so critical of the incoming generation, and I'm starting to realize I need to like tone it down. It's starting to sound like an old fart. Like, why do you guys keep saying slay? But um, anyway, all right. Thank you all for listening to Pokebeach.com podcast. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Uh, s- s- send us your uh, uh, likes. Okay, I don't know. All right, I don't know what people say. You have to do it now, yeah, too. I mean, you you do it. You can't pull that nonsense off. You do it. You have to do no. it. You have to do it. I had nah. to do it. Now you have to do it. No, I'm going to take, take a different approach. <clears throat> Thank you for listening to the Poke Beach podcast. You should join us every week for the best news for the Pokemon trading card game. Yes. And hopefully visit us at pokebeach.com and justinbasil.com. Again, like, subscribe, do all those wonderful things. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Sounds good. And hopefully next week we'll be more awake. All right. I'm cutting it off. All right. Have a good week, right, everyone. We'll talk. To you. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>